There's a place for... So I got this case this summer. It's a BAM, they call it a soft pack. Now here's the thing, when you open it up, I like this, it has a place for the neck right here. Cool, has a place for the mouthpiece right there. The neck strap I'm currently using is in a sock. It's a super strong strap, which is great, but I like that this is metal and not plastic. The downside is though, when you're not playing, and the horn is not tight, it clanks against the back, which I don't love. Then you take the horn out and ta-da, there's a little pouch in here, which, oh crap. Do not buy this stand. I repeat, do not buy a Hercules stand. In a certain regard, they're sturdy, but they have a major, major flaw. And to be fair, Hercules, I actually made a video and I sent, I emailed this to you guys like three years ago and nothing has changed. So this little knobby knob right here, you put your horn down on it. Let's say you're at a gig or just in your practice room. You put the horn down and then when you go to pick it up like in a hurry, this is what happens. See that? You see that? Look at that. This part, when you pull the horn up, it, it lifts up. You go to put your horn down again, not knowing that that happened, and this is what, what you get. Ouch. No good, I'm not a fan, I need a better stand for sure. So, in here there's a, like a pouch thing, which you can source some stuff in. Here's my, my main strap. Got some reeds and that's about it. It's not a lot, it's a little. <laughs> Currently, I hate almost every note that's coming out of my horn. Just everything I play, I feel like I've played a million times before. I'm sick of, sick of it. My tongue is totally in the way again. Those of you who have been around for a while know, especially my students know, that I'm a big advocate of not over-articulating. It's like a weed. It's grown back in my garden. It's just, I'm super bummed out about my playing right now. So I'm just, uh, I'm turning to what I always, you'll think this is crazier that I'm making it up, but I go back to just whole notes, long tones, specifically overtones. This is just some excerpts from the, this Top Tones book, which I'll be honest, I never practiced from until recently I, I started digging into it a little bit and I like some of the, um, the pair, the, like how would you call it? Like exercises that are pairings of different overtones. So it's not just doing exercise on a single series, which is what I normally do, like a B flat overtone series where I'll play, I'll play each partial for a, a minute or two. These are exercises more where like you're mixing, like here, where is this? Like this measure. You're mixing the melody notes here that are intervals where you're mixing two overtone parts. So it's the only thing that I find that centers me and allows me to get past just my utter frustration with with my playing. <laughs> So this part right here, you get this this cool minor seven leap from, you know, C sharp up to B natural. But you're so you're you're doing an ascending minor seventh with the note you're actually sounding, but fingering wise, you're going down a whole step from low C sharp to low B. That's Maria from West Side Story, right? There's a place for. What, what color is this? Green. Green. Yep. It's easier with the other side. Yeah, here you go. So I have a gig tonight at the Blue Whale with Charles Ruggiero on drums and Dan Lutz on bass and Josh Nelson on piano. Charles has put together a cool set of kind of some retro swing stuff that he's doing and some of it in like a 60s vibe. I'd never heard of these guys, the peddlers, but it's kind of a, a hip way that they're doing on a clear day. <laughs> I'm just 
scrambling to get a couple of things together before it's time to get in traffic for an hour and head downtown. I'm semi-professional. Yeah. I'm semi yeah. really sorry about that. <laughs> you sing the rhythm section part because you're there. Yeah, see, now that's where... Well, that's... I was talking about in between the tune before the solos. This is, this is eight bars, not four bars. So we just repeat this four bars at the top going into the, going into the blowing after here. Mm -hmm. 